Here are my 7 tips and things to do to increase the speed of your Shopify store. Hi, my name is Christian and I'm a full-time Shopify developer for more than 8 years. In order to make a Shopify store run faster, it's important to prioritize serving the necessary files that are required to display the current view to the user. We want to render our store but not load up the entire library of assets in the first few seconds. You could compare that to going to a restaurant and being served the drink, the appetizer, then the the first course and so on rather than having the entire menu be cooked for us while we are waiting and then brought to us all at once. It's important to be cautious when hiring speed optimization specialists. I've seen some cases where they are using tricks to make your site appear faster to Google and get higher ratings, but in reality your end users may still experience slow loading times. Speed optimizing apps are also not the answer. They only work with returning users if they work at all. There is no miraculous fast answer to this problem, so if you want to get it fixed, you will have to get your hands dirty. This being said, this is my first tip. I know, I know, you have heard this one before, but it's a really, really important one. You have to evaluate the necessity of the apps installed on your Shopify store. If the app doesn't directly impact conversion rates or improve the user experience, it may be best to remove it. This is because apps require downloading assets from various servers which can slow down your store significantly. Additionally, apps may try to inject their code as soon as possible into your site which can affect the prioritization of assets loading and negatively impact your user experience. However, it's important to note that uninstalling apps may leave behind residual code. Therefore, you should ensure that you remove any script tags relating to those apps from your theme.liquid, head.liquid and footer.liquid files. For example, if you want to uninstall the logs review app, you would need to search for the logs term in these files and remove all the script tags containing it. By doing this, you can help improve the loading speed and the overall performance of your store. As previously mentioned, uninstalling apps can leave behind redundant assets on your theme. To address this, take a quick look at your theme.liquid file and identify any scripts that are relating to the apps that you have already uninstalled. Remove the residual code and prevent it from loading up and slowing down your store. Additionally, if you used plugins in the past but you're no longer using them, they may still have scripts and style tags that are loading and affecting the speed of your store. Review everything in the theme.liquid file and determine if it is relevant or not. For more comprehensive approach, you can also review the head.liquid and the footer.liquid files to ensure that no unnecessary assets are being loaded there. Many merchants mistakenly believe that larger images equate higher quality and as a result they upload images directly from their DSLRs to their Shopify store. If most of your traffic is coming from mobile devices for example, a full HD size image that's compressed as a JPEG under 1 MB in size should be sufficient for any screen size. It's recommended to use JPEGs whenever possible and to only use PNGs when you need the image to have a transparent background and avoid using animated GIFs as they not only look unprofessional but they can also be a large asset to load. Instead consider uploading a compressed mp4 video using a HTML video tag. This brings us to the next point, which is lazy loading. To prevent assets from blocking other elements on your page, use the preload none property on videos to have them load without interrupting anything else. Additionally, use the loading lazy property on images that are not initially visible on the screen when the page loads. You can also install a lazy loading plugin such as lazy sizes to make the process bulletproof. But make sure that you don't use lazy loading on images that are directly in view such as as the first hero image or product images. Font files can be quite large and designers often use multiple custom fonts to achieve a unique look for a store. 
If you have a custom design, chances are that you have imported several custom fonts. To optimize your font loading, you should check your add font face rules inside the CSS files. If the rules don't already have a font display swap property, make sure to add it. This property allows a default font to be displayed while the custom font file is downloading, preventing this way the site from being blocked and improving the overall user experience. Your store might be using a lot of scripts to achieve its functionality, including those from installed apps, plugins or core store features. These scripts can be found in the theme.liquid file and it's essential to identify which ones can be deferred. Deferring a script means that it will load after the site is fully loaded. This ensures that the core assets like the hero image are loaded first and then the extra functionality is triggered. For instance, when you come across a script from an app, you need to to ask yourself whether the app needs to be loaded before or after the site has already loaded. In most cases, apps can load after the site is fully loaded, except maybe tracking pixels. You can add the differ equals differ property to this script, which allows you to load them after the core essential have finished loading. Additionally, you can use the async property to load the scripts at the same time as the core assets without blocking their loading. Similar to how we wait for the essential assets to load before downloading additional elements, we can apply a similar approach to CSS files that reference elements not currently visible during page load. Since CSS files can be large and bulky, we can use the media onload print property to delay the application of the CSS file until after the page has loaded. This method ensures that the CSS file is only applied when necessary, reducing the page loading time and improving performance. To take different scripts to a next level, we could load up the entire store and its core assets without any scripts from apps or plugins at first, and then upon human interaction, we can inject those into our store with a click or a scroll event. This ensures the store is rendered as fast as possible, and when the user starts interacting with it, the apps and plugins can start downloading and initiating their widgets. However, for this fix, you might need a specialist to create a solution for your specific scenario. These were the seven things to act on for getting your store to load up faster. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments area. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.